Woohoo! We've got sunshine, baby. Believe it or not, it was chucking it down with rain this morning, but the sun has got his hat on today and we're gonna take advantage of it for a few hours because this week we want to press on and get this tiny house roof insulated. So once Victoria has got the tarp off enough, we need to fix a wooden ledge and that's gonna stop the insulation sliding down. So you need a new one. <laughs> a little pecaroonie. <laughs> Last week we got down the first bit of vapour barrier on the front of the building and now we have the tedious task of taking this foil insulating waterproof tape and covering every single staple and every single seam. Good times. If you watched last week, you know we had a bit of difficulty with, where is it, oh here, the silver tape and fixing the edge of the vapor barrier to the OSB. We're not sure whether it's because OSB is just notoriously difficult material to stick something to without a specialized tape or whether it's because we were doing it in the rain. I'm hoping it's the latter because we've got a lot of this tape we want to use. We haven't got anything alternative. So I've got a rag up here. I'm gonna try and dry it all off and see if this week It'll stick. Seems to be sticking. It's not perfect, but it's good enough and it's all we got. So I've just finished laying down the vapor barrier over the ridge and that piece is gonna overlap on both sides. For now though, I'm only stapling and taping it on the front side. And the reason for that is because before we go up to the back, we want to first of all build up all of the layers up to basically the tile battens. And the reason that we are doing that is because, actually I can just think now I've got the perfect little thing that will show this and illustrate it better. So my glamorous assistant here has basically a mock-up of all the different layers of our roof construction. We have the That's rafter. My job. Okay, we have the rafter. <laughs> then on top of that, the OSB roof decking, the vapor barrier, insulation, a breathable membrane, and then the counter button. We're gonna have a screw that's gonna go all the way through this counter button, all the way through to the rafter. Now, if you imagine a screw has to go all the way through here, it's pretty narrow and we need to be spot on with that. When we get all the way up to the ridge now, if we don't cover over there with everything else, we can still see where the opposing rafter is and we'll know exactly where our screws need to go and the counter button needs to go, basically. I hope that made sense. That makes sense? Perfect sound. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect sound. <laughs> Perfect sense. <laughs> I had one line. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, we've just had the building inspector turn up for an unexpected visit and they're just looking things over, but they seem like a bit of a tough cookie. What do you think, boss? 
<laughs> is a work up to your standard. There we go, first row of insulation done. I wish we had a bit more time today because I think if this would have been earlier on the day, we could probably get it all done, but we definitely haven't got time for that today. So we just have to see how far we can get. Just realised we haven't actually mentioned what product we've gone for for the roof insulation. We chose an XPS foam which slots together ever so easily like the world's simplest jigsaw puzzle. We've then used an adhesive along the seams and we're taping it on top with that silver tape. We did do a test and it was actually really really sticky on the insulation so we haven't got any problems there. around this morning trying to get all this insulation done on the front unfortunately we've just been rained off I was trying to persevere with it whilst it was kind of drizzling but it's getting so much moisture on top of the vapor barrier and the last thing I want to do is have moisture on that vapor barrier put the insulation over the top and just trap it in yeah so I kind of had to stop it quickly and get the tarp back over but it looks like we've got a little break again so I'm gonna try and finish and get this little bit of insulation done on the top. What do you reckon? Should we chance it? Yeah, don't think we've got a choice. So, it's threatening rain constantly today. It's just one of those days, but we need to press on. Like time is of the essence and we want to get this roof on. So we're going to get on with putting the breathable membrane down. I'm sure you've all heard of this before. It's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you don't know what this is, it's basically a layer that goes on top of the insulation and under the roof tiles. It's basically made up of three different layers and it's pretty clever stuff to be honest. If any water goes through the tiles, the wind's driving it through any gaps or anything like that, it will hit the top side of this and it's waterproof so the water will roll down and won't get inside to affect the insulation or the roof rafters, the OSB, any of that stuff. However, on the other side of it, if any vapor does manage to get through from the inside and any condensation starts to form underneath, this allows vapor to pass through it. So it allow that to move through, get out through the gaps in the tiles and we won't get any mold build up in the roof. I love the rain at the end of the summer. And I love how green it makes everything look. But rain when you're trying to build a roof sucks. Again, it's put a stop to things today. I don't know if you can even see it behind me, but just out of nowhere, torrential downpour, gusts of wind, I could barely keep hold of the thing. So we've had to make a decision to knock it on the head again. The roof, the roof? The roof, mm. the roof is pretty saturated, to be honest. Hopefully it can air out a bit tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow afternoon we can get out and get a bit more done. I don't know if I might be responsible in tempted fate by wearing my new rain hat today, but it's fared well, all things considered. Do you want hot chocolate? Oh, sounds lovely. Okay. Oh, no, my back is killing me. 
the old man's struggling a little bit because we had our tile delivery come this morning and the truck they brought it in was way too big to come down here and even to go down the driveway so we've basically handballed 600 tiles well with the aid of the trusty bilingo from the roadside down to the house we've still actually got to do the final load from there down to the tiny house so looking forward to that but first we've got to have a second attempt to get in the breathable membrane on but it's pretty blustery today so uh, promises to be fun is really not making this job easy but Ricky like always is powering on like a trooper <laughs> We're going to have to admit defeat today, unfortunately. I think it's gone pretty still now but we've had literally massive gusts of wind. The membrane on the roof was flying up waving all the counter buttons off, chucking some of them off and trying to pin it down is an absolute nightmare. Poor Victoria here is literally on the ladder trying to film me up on the roof. The ladder's blowing her around, it's yeah, not particularly safe. No, and I've got a pretty low centre of gravity usually but I did look it up and we are actually having gale force gusts so yeah, not sensible working conditions. No, it's the end of the day as well as you can probably tell by the lack of light on us so I think knock it on the head, come back another time. One last thing though for Ricky, finally he gets his new pencil. Oh, it's Christmas come early. <laughs> <laughs>